Alright, what is going on YouTube? Um, I'm still working on intros for my videos, you know, like new welcome greetings, you know, like, hi, how you doing, you know, da 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 da, this and that kind of thing. Well, as I was, um, when I got home today, I kind of thought about some things, you know, about my past and stuff. And then I was like, you know what, why don't I just go and do a video? This is the part where it gets messed up, you know, where my history of YouTube is messing up. Meaning, you know, I'm not trying to hurt anybody's feelings, but like meaning, I really want to keep doing this every day. Like, no, like, legit, I really want to. Um, I want to continue doing this for as long as I can. But uh, my account keeps getting hacked. My Facebook got hacked yesterday. I wasn't able to log on because my password was changed. Couldn't figure that out, so I just said, you know what, screw it. I'm not going to have Facebook. My Instagram, however, I still have my Instagram. Let me get rid of these things real quick. The little chat head messages. But, uh, yeah, those can wait. Um... But on Instagram, yeah, I still have my Instagram, and uh, how I got all my other stuff there, and like, it's just my life, how I really want to keep doing this, because 107, all right, I'm going on 107 videos right now, guys, talking to 35 people, 35, yeah, that's 35, that's a lot, that's a big number, but... I'm talking to 35 people at one time. People have said, oh, you can't talk to two people at once. Oh, uh, yes, you can. You're talking to 35 of them at once. Stupid. But that's not what I got on here to rant and talk about. I'm not really ranting, but just, yeah, sorry about that. Just bear with me here. I'm stuck in a little wooden chair. Anyway, um, so, all right, so... People say, oh, it's scientifically proven. My friend actually told me this this morning, too. He was like, you know you're going to die at a certain age. Uh, no, duh. Everybody's going to die at a random age. We don't know. People have died at like 75, 104, 99. People, there's a lot of people out there that have died at young ages. You know, There's a lot of kids out there that were shot and killed. Um... Then my cousin, when I came home, my cousin started talking about, you know, my, uh, my name's Kylie, and I was, you know, if you look my name up on the internet, it's scientifically proven that I'm gonna die at a da -da 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 certain age. And I was like, well, um, just think about life for a second. Don't think about Google. All right, you take, all right, look, look. Here's Google, and here's life. You take Google and every other thing that you don't really need in life, and just, Throw it over there. Just throw it out of your, throw it out of your screen. All right. Th literally, people have a screen. Throw it out of the bubble or whatever you guys want to call your personal space. Just throw it away. Just get rid of it. All right. So you gotta do it. Get rid of it. But, like, um, if you think about it, and if you guys are thinking about this, you know, um, is it really scientifically proven? Oh, let's see. Oh, no, no, no it's not. I, I don't think so. It's my opinion. I'm putting my opinion out here for you guys. And um, so, like, right now, while I'm talking to you guys, I'm not saying this is going to happen because I do not know. But let's say right now, right, as I'm sitting here in my bedroom, my mess of a bedroom, yeah, let's say somebody, all right, let's say two people jump through that window and that window on the left, or... Yeah, on the left, over there, right? Let's say two people jump through there, right? One guy has a gun, the other guy just has a bomb on his chest. They're both willing and ready to die, and I'm not expecting, you know, to be shot and killed or anything like that. But let's say that happens, you know, boom, guy walks in, uh, video is still recording. Then all of a sudden, you guys hear a big boom in the background of the video, and both of the killers went straight back there to the bedrooms and 
killed everybody and just blew them up. It's not scientifically proven that you're going to die at like 5, 11, 12, and you know, all that crap. It's not like that. It, that's not how life works. Life works like if I were to come to your house and say, hey, how you doing? You know, and trying to be your friend. And all of a sudden you turn around and I just hit you square in the face with a bat. You're dead. I, I don't know you're dead. I thought I just knocked you out. But on purpose, I just come up to you. You're out. Gone. Way up there. All right. Um, oh yeah, I forgot. This video is kind of offensive to some viewers, so viewer discretion is advised, and, um, watch at your own risk. I forgot to mention that in the beginning. So, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Whatever. Um, but, like, if I were to go to your house, walk up to you, and just be like, you know what? Hit you in the face with a bat, and you're dead. I'm going to be sitting here thinking, holy crap, I just killed somebody. That was fun. No, it was, it's not. It's not fun to kill somebody. It's not fun to kill anybody. And this whole thing, uh, for example, if somebody was a cop and they shot somebody else, all right, and they killed somebody else, that one person, that dead person's family is going to come at that one cop and be mad at that one cop. Then they're going to turn around and be mad at all cops and be like, y'all killed him because he was a certain race. But, uh, no, guys, that's not what's happening. People say, uh, yeah, these lives matter, these lives matter. All lives matter. Okay, think about that. All lives matter. Not blue lives, not, well, yeah, they do. But we're not specifically talking about blue lives, um, African American lives, uh, Caucasian lives. We're talking everybody. Doesn't mean you're black, white, Hispanic, Mexican, you know. It doesn't matter. Hang on. But what I am going to explain is uh, how you can, how all that can be changed if we just stop and think for a second. I mean, I really don't just stop and think, you know, I'm just flying off at the mouth. I'm not even letting my mind run through here, but I'm just talking, which is something I just normally do. But, um, like... Okay, so, you know what? No. Alright, here we go. Well, you know, I'm freaking tired and whatever. But black lives matter, white lives matter, blue lives matter, and whatever I say blue lives, I'm not talking about the little Smurfs or the little guys or Eiffel 65. I'm talking men in uniform. Blue lives, meaning... People wearing a badge, people wearing uniforms, people wearing certain things like this. Okay, I'm going to make sure. This is, I mean, it technically is a military uniform, and I'm not disrespecting or disgracing anything. I am in the United States Naval Sea Cadet Corps. I just joined. Go check out Eli Teston. He helped me do, he, he was the one who got me into this kind of thing, but they gave me the, the work uniform, I guess, service uniform, I don't know, but, um, yeah, this is just who I am, and this is what I like to do, but, uh, yeah. All right, that's better. Back in a little white t-shirt. Um, yeah, but still, like I was saying, blue lives, like men in uniform, men in green uniforms, men in white uniforms, it doesn't matter, you know, if you are wearing a uniform that represents something, Something like something about a country like the United States Naval Sea Cadet Corps or the USNS. Wait, I think I said it right. Yeah, the USNSCC, you know, that's the United States Naval Sea Cadet Corps. Same thing. Um, yeah. If you're representing a country or um, a team or some kind of group, like for example, the Illuminati. I don't know what they wore because I didn't care what they wore. They were people, living, breathing humans. I don't know if they killed anyone. Like I said, again, I didn't care what they did because I didn't look into their research, which I might do tonight. I don't know. Um, but I, I know I do this way too much, and I cough, and I sneeze, and everything like that because I'm nervous. I get anxious. You know, I start sweating. I start doing my hair, and it's like blah, 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 all over the place. Like I said, <coughs> see, just like that. Um, 
this is this is the funny part about this. Um, a kid at my school today, he walked up to me and he's like, "I seen your YouTube channel." I was like, "Okay, cool." You know, make sure you subscribe. Da 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 da. And he was like, "I watched a couple of your videos too," and I was like, "Oh no!" I did that in my head. Anyway, he was like. Sometimes when you start talking really fast and you don't like really spit such a version, blah, 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 I think you're on crack sometimes. Warning, I am not on any drugs. I don't do alcohol. I don't do drugs. I'm perfectly straight and clean, everything new. I'm not into drugs and alcohol. If my friends, now see, I don't even care because marijuana is not really a drug. It's a plant, but it's still bad because it's, it messes with your lungs, but it doesn't stay in your system. It messes with your head, and it messes with your lungs. That's it. How do I know that it messes with your head? Uh, because when people say, oh, I want to get high on marijuana, <laughs> you know, I think um, they're not talking about flying. They're talking about going, woo, bro, I got the munchies. And, you know, how do I know that? I've seen it happen. I mean, I'm always on YouTube, I'm looking at stuff, and I've seen go people going, <sighs> This is some good stuff. No, it's not. It's not good stuff, because, like, 45 minutes after you done smoked your whole cigarette or whatever, go in the bathroom, blow on a mirror, blow your hot behind breath on a mirror, and just be like... And then you'll smell. Oh no! All right, you really think a girl is wanna kiss is gonna want to kiss some dude with some stinking behind, bro? Jesus. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> um. But yeah, I'm not ranting about anything like that. I'm just coming on here saying we don't know when we're necessarily gonna die. If you have already lost somebody, I'm sorry for your loss. Because I've been through a couple of losses, too. I just never really filmed them because they're not entertaining. They're not fun to watch. I mean, you know, when pe somebody dies, it's like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. What the heck? You know, sometimes it's like you don't even want to say nothing. You're like. And then there's those buttholes out there. It's like, he's gone. Because I have a friend who actually did this to me, and you know who you are. But, um, yeah, he, uh, <laughs> it was funny the way he did it, though, because I punched him in the face right after he did it. He didn't tell nobody. I, I was like, dude, I just lost somebody, and I ain't really in the mood for all this, because he was like, you want to mess with me? He was just pushing me around, you want to mess with me, Robert? You want to mess with me? I was like, dude, this is not time and place. I just lost somebody. I don't feel like going through all this. And he was like, they're finally dead? Hooray! And I turned around. And he fell to the ground and got back up. He was like, sorry, never mind. And he walked off and went about his day. I went about mine with a red hand. I hit him so hard in my hand. My hand itself was hurting. Like, it was like... Okay, like, you know, if you fall asleep on your arm and your hand loses, like, blood circulation, and then it's like... You could feel it, just the, the the blood rush or whatever you want to call it, you know, the, that or whatever, yeah. Like, I hit him with my knuckles, like, knuckle to his jaw and just hit him real hard. And, like, five minutes after that, I felt my hand just, you know, doing all that. I was like, no way. I thought I hurt him real bad, you know, I walked up to him and like, I ain't mean to hit you that hard. But I did mean to hit you because you was talking trash. So, yeah, and that kind of hurt my feelings. So, yeah. She. Anyway, um, <coughs> that's all I got for now. Yeah, because we don't know when we're going to die. You never know. I could literally, somebody could break through that window, walk in here and just stick a gun to my head and pull the trigger and the video would still be recording. Possibly not, because he would probably kill me, shoot the phone, then go and mess with my family members. Which, if somebody breaks a window, especially my room window, I will become alerted. And I'm not trying to be all Billy Bad behind and be a show off. I'm being like, for real, for real. Because I've got 
stuff. I got stuff in my room I can throw, and I can leave my room. Cause look, as you could tell, I don't know, but my room is kind of a mess, which I'm getting that fixed tomorrow night, tomorrow morning, tomorrow night, yeah, tomorrow night. But um, like I could jump across. Literally, I don't care, cause I could like move this. Literally, look, watch this. All right, and I'm not even gonna try, but look. Look how far I just lifted that off the freaking ground. I could just push that over, jump across, open my door, and shoot out my door. And tell mom to call the cops. And then when mom calls the cops, and before she calls the cops, she'll be like, wow, what's going on? I'll be like, there's somebody in my room that just broke my window, and they tried to hurt me. So, go call the cops, and I'm going to go see if they escaped. And if they got out, then um, I'm going to have to give the cops a description and everything, but... Yeah, same thing. There really won't be a description for the video. There will just be like a title, I guess. I don't know. Uh, but uh, yeah, my phone's about to die again. Jesus Christ, I can't keep a freaking battery on my phone. Anyway, um. I don't even know what that was. I just love doing that. I did, <laughs> I did that to a substitute teacher today. And um. They was like, they was like, what's wrong with this kid? I was like, nothing's wrong with me. I was like, oh, and they was like oh, don't bite me. Don't bite me, big fella. <laughs> but yeah, guys, love and respect to y'all. Don't forget to drop a like on the video if you like the... Don't forget to drop a big fat like on the video because I got these big hands. Yeah. See, look, I'm not even literally watching, you ready? I'm just gonna let my hand drop on the table. I'm not bringing force down because you can see my arm do that if I was bringing force. See, watch. Okay, now look. No force. No force. No force. No force. I'm gonna get this. See, with this arm, I can just do it that way. I could hit hard with this hand, but not really hard with that hand. So yeah, if I take, well actually I think like if I take that hand and I just take it and I just be like, ah, ah, you know I take this hand, ah, ah. Mm. Love and respect you all. Have a blessed day. Bye.